What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Hunting Rocks. As always, I'm your hunting guide, Jeff, but today we're not hunting rocks. I've, uh, I kind of got a cold. I didn't feel like going out and looking for rocks today. So instead, I decided I'm going to shoot a video on how I go about cleaning my trilobites. So let me get everything set up, I'll show you guys how I do it. Like I said, I'm by far no means a professional, but it gives you an idea of how I clean these up. All right, so this is the trilobite right here we're going to be working on. And uh, I can't promise you that this video might not be a little loud. I'll probably have to do some voiceover stuff. Uh, I'll probably speed up some parts too because otherwise it might be kind of boring. Let me get the tools out and I'll show you what tools we're going to use. All right, here's our tools. I have my rock hammer. You've all seen me use that. I have three different pairs of snips of three different sizes. Uh, these are cobalt. I bought them in a set. I really like them. I have my little snips. Uh, these originally came with my 3D printer. I have a better set that I use. I do 3D print things. And then of course, a screwdriver, flat top, or regular head I guess, not Phillips. Anyhow, let me get this set up and uh, let's get to work. One other thing I do recommend, safety glasses. Safety glasses are pretty important whenever you're doing this. Uh, I'm going to throw my safety glasses on and I'll start the work. Okay, first things first. We want to look at which way our trilobite is running. So you can see right there, that's its head. Which means its body is running back this way. So my first hits, I'm going to want to make them right along this line. I don't want to get too close to it. So I'm going to take my hammer and uh, I'm going to beat on it a little bit. Not terribly hard, but <clears throat> hard enough to begin to chip this. I want to make sure that I don't have any cracks for them that go down to the trilobite. All right, so I'm going to pick up my trilobite. I'm just going to gently tap along that line. Have to go fast. <clears throat> In fact, it's best you don't because you do not want to hit the trilobite. As much matrix as there is here, I'm going to take this over to my metal plate and I'm going to give it a couple good hard whacks. All right, metal plate, nothing more than part of an old railroad. They were tearing up the railroad tracks near me. This was slain alongside. I did ask permission if I could have it. The guy was like, yeah, whatever. Go ahead and take it. I was like, awesome. So, don't take stuff off of railroad tracks. That is privately owned property. Uh, you, you will go to jail for that. That's a, that's a big one. So. Gentle hits along the side. As you can see, I'm just chipping off down to the trilobite. So. I'm going to pause the video here. You have an idea of what I'm doing. I'm going to work it down until we get closer. I'll turn the video back on and you'll see where we're at. Okay guys, you can see I've chipped away quite a bit of the matrix material around it. Another nice thing about going slow like that is as pieces pop off like so, keep an eye on them. Trilobites, some of them were social creatures, some of them weren't. So knocking off pieces like that depending on what kind of trilobite you're looking for you might actually find more trilobites in the piece that you're working on um, an example that would be the ones from Utah where you can have 10-15 trilobites all bunched up together the uh, Colin and Calibres, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong they're uh, they were a little bit different uh, I found them to be a little more solitary but let's get this back over to the table okay we're back at the table at this point in the process, I'm going to take out my snips, which I think I'll start with these. And I'm just going to trim the limestone around it. Actually, I'm going to go with the smaller ones for right now. Nope. Let's go with the big ones. Alright, well, I need to chip off a little more. 
Now's where the screwdriver comes into play. Use an old screwdriver. You use a newer screwdriver, you're ruining a perfectly good screwdriver. I'm going to do this over on the metal because it'll shake the table. Alright, I'm trying to keep some sunlight on this. So, I'm going to put that right there. just want fractures to start to form. If that doesn't work, I can always grab a much bigger chisel, very flat though. I'm going to set it up here and then just light taps. And it breaks free. Always check your rock. No trilobites in it, it goes in the scrap rock bucket. Weigh a little bit, check it, nothing. I'm not going to do that. I would do it. I don't want you guys to do it until you're sure you know what you're doing with trilobites. So we're going to see a little ridge there. We're going to gently place our screwdriver there little taps. Just lots of little taps. I'm going to get to work on this. Uh, once I get a little closer, I'll turn the camera back on. I guess I should leave it on. That way you guys can actually see that I am using the screwdriver and not cheating. I, uh, I definitely want you to learn how to do this properly. Or at least the way I do it. I should probably be wearing gloves for safety in case that slides out and goes in my hand, but eh, it's been a while since I've been to the hospital. Okay, I am going to slide over to this. Now that trilobite, looking at its size, it probably only comes to, it's not a very big one, probably about Probably about that long altogether. So I'm going to take this, set it here, and remove some more overburden. Gentle tap, so gentle, gentle, gentle. Sorry about that, I bumped the camera. Now I did go down on this side with him right there. He's probably, well, that's over half his size. So I know he comes to right there. There's a little something else right there too. Don't know if you can see that. There may have been another trilobite in this rock at one time. Now I've got a good area that I can snip on. Let's go back over to the table with the snips. All right, it's snipping time. This process does take a little while. But you just keep using both types of snips until you get down to it like I'm doing here. <laughs> You'll see that the rock that covers it is actually poofed away a little. That's just the nature of the beast whenever you're working with uh, fossils. Especially these kind of trilobites. I can't say all of them, but these in particularly from uh, Illinois. So I'm going to kill the camera. I'm going to work on this a bit and I'll show you as I get closer. You've got the main idea. 
you just snip along taking off little bits of matrix as you go alright guys this one's a little interesting I snipped it and whenever I did it kinda kinda snapped which is okay however I don't believe this is a full trilobite this one looks like it's pretty well rolled up but let's pop this out actually we do have a full trilobite holy cow guys look at this thing now where it's at right now there's its tail this thing is completely rolled up so I'm gonna gently remove that there's its imprint and there it is that is beautiful look at that now that doesn't always happen when you're snipping sometimes you'll get little bits of matrix that are stuck to it that you gotta you know you gotta trim them off but this ooh, this is my first rolled one this trilobite was alive when it died I know that sounds stupid because pretty much everything's alive when it dies um, but with trilobites they would shed their shell so this one was actually in a defensive posture what was coming to get it now I don't know whatever it was it uh, it must have killed it it didn't eat it though so yeah I'm super happy with this I'll get some good still pictures of this but anyhow guys that's how I go about cleaning trilobites sorry I'm not my usual woo self but uh, I'm fighting a cold and it's knocking me out my uh, my day cool is almost done so I'm, uh, I'm gonna get some pictures of this I'm gonna get this all uh, set up to go I'm gonna take some day quill and uh, yours truly thinks he's gonna take a nap anyhow thanks for watching I hope I can get a subscribe from you and uh, as always I hope to see you the next time I'm out hunting rocks I don't know where Hamilton's at I'll get him in the next video for you I promise